Dear sim drivers and iRacing enthusiasts, in this video you'll learn how to set up your PC, graphics card, and graphics settings in iRacing to achieve a solid and consistent 90 FPS with very high resolution. To do this, you'll need to download OpenXR Tools and OpenXR Toolkit from the Windows Store, both of which are free software that I'll guide you through step by step in this video. I personally use an Intel i9 9900K PC, overclocked to 5 GHz, and an NVIDIA 30 Hours 8 LTI GPU. You'll achieve this result both in single player and even in multiplayer, even with rain. Are you ready? Stay tuned and I'll explain how to do it. I will show you how to get the top uh, from uh, graphic setting in iRacing and sorry for my poor English. I'm using uh, the gear you can read in the description and uh, we start uh, with uh, Mixed Reality Portal setting. First thing first is setting there inside the window, environment, sorry, headset display and start. Let the window decide the adjust level of detail. Change up Windows resolution 1080p. Change experience option optimize for performance here. Adjust display resolution. This is resolution for me, but it could be changed for you. And this is important. Adjust frame rate. 90 Hz. This is uh, at your preference. Task decide. And this. Uh, let window decide. Okay? This is the first part you need to set up. The second thing we have to look is the OpenXR tool for Windows Mixed Reality. You have to install from the Windows App Store. This is a free tool. And in setting, preview runtime settings on. Use the latest OpenXR runtime, yes. Render setting, check 100%. Motion reprojection rate, use best frame rate. Motion reprojection type, optical flow. This is, could be used only with NVIDIA. RTX. If it doesn't have, I'm sorry for you, this is my setting. Prefer frame rate over latency, yes, and developer setting off and off. Okay? Open XR on time. You can look in here. When you run your game, here you can see your effective resolution, but we have to change only in this tab. We are ready to go to the next tab setting. Now we are going to pass on the OpenXR Toolkit. You have to install OpenXR Toolkit and it's normal. You see, you see low resolution just because I'm capturing the window mixed reality mirroring. Okay, so don't worry for this resolution, it's just for let you know which kind of setting you have to do in OpenXR Toolkit. Download latest version and activate for your games. Now, performance. This is just an overlay. Target frame rate off. This is important. This is an upscaling. You have to use this upscaler as the main upscaler. If you have to choose between upsampling up inside the game and this this is the best between uh, performance and uh, the weight on your GPU fixed foveted rendering someone activated this but I'm using HP reverb to do 
G2 that uh, doesn't have this uh, kind of feature, so I prefer off. Sometimes I activated the turbo mode. You have to reboot your system every time you made some major modify, modify inside this kind of setting. But in this kind of setup, I have turned it off. Frame rate throttling, recording statistic, no important. Now, appearance. Post processing is on your task. I have off, but it works very, very good and doesn't wait on your system. So you can change at your pleasure in there. Okay, but it's no important for my trick performance. Input over prediction zero. This is the most important part to get the maximum frame rate and quality on your system. By default, this kind of toolkit override resolution is no. It means automatic. And when it goes automatic, it pump up in upscaling on this kind of resolution. It doesn't work fine for me. You can lower down until you reach this kind of resolution that is that match exactly on the resolution per eye on my HP Reverb G2. This is the same native resolution, one to one. And this is the magic trick. Motion reprojection off. I love to get 90 frames per second. If I don't get 90 frames per second, I lower down a little bit graphic, but you see in the next chapter, chapter I'm using uh, high quality resolution on uh, eye racing. Color gain is no important, it's just uh, uh, let you decide. Field of view, I'm using 100%, okay? And then show expert setting, no, font site here, this is no important thing. One thing important I missed to tell you is the word scale. Word scale is the ratio that uh, decides how big or small you see the word. And this is a setting matched with your kind of VR headset. For HP G2, is 56 millimeter that correspond on 110.4 percent this is more important for top of immersivity and top of realism okay so a recap in this important tab is cas 70 percent turbo mod off or on try it on if it work in stable you could use this Worst scale that match with your headset and system override yes and again match the resolution with your headset okay that's all for this section we see in the next section hi again we are now in uh, iRacing graphic setting and don't mind for the low resolution you see the stub is because I'm still using the mixed reality mirror capturing. Okay. Now resolution. Someone tells that in headset mode doesn't seem important. I see it's not true. If you change this resolution, not affect only on screen on monitor it affects also VR mode for me I don't know why someone tells this is uh, different so this is my resolution of mirroring and uh, it works fine also inside VR mode and then rest scaling known I will read every setting I don't know if it's uh, understandable comprehensible 
in your screen so full screen off border on align none reflex disable this is on your preference i have to zero gamma brightness contrast monitor not important max quality is a preset if you slide this erasing load a preset don't do that just set manually every kind of setting there sky clouds high detail car side detail pit object medium detail for me but you can pump it up event high detail grandstands high detail crowds low detail objects high detail foliage off but you, you, you can change particles high detail full rest known it doesn't affect and i don't see any difference when uh, i shut down this kind of uh, effects max card 20 draw 40 20 card draw 46 pick dynamic load word only fps 60 but you can change anyway i take uh, i get uh, 90 fps car only frame rate uh, limit 84 you can change no limit but it doesn't affect so it's okay you can uh, put uh, 90 for sure no vertical sync max per render frame one anisotropic uh, 16 but you can uh, play around with this it doesn't affect so much uh, the weight on your C GPU MSAA4 it does uh, the anti-aliasing two time you do on CAS and you do in this so for your system if it's too heavy you can shut it off okay render dynamic track data on show max close shadows on object self shadowing on dynamic objects in main view on night shadows maps on walls off number of flights three pc4 filter is the window menu i choose for this kind of setting dynamic tube map zero fixed tube map zero shader quality ultra detail idle abstraction known show driver arms on your preference Two pass trees and high quality trees. Uh, I don't like this kind of uh, uh, environmental uh, details, so I shut it down. Cockpit mirror, yes, for all for uh, uh, cockpit mirror. Either the tail mirror, I really don't, don't appreciate that, so shut it off. Headlight, I detail. Headlight on track mirrors, uh, bah, this is no important, but I leave it on. Virtual mirror fob 84. Motion blur off. Anti-aliasing off, SSR off, sharpening off, distortion off, HDR on, insights off, ambient occlusion on. You see this off just because I'm playing around with setting, but leave it on. If you can reach 19 frames per second, here this is the first thing you have to shut down. SSIO off and MSS MSAA off. Okay, these are heavy setting, but start with on video mem swap IRS card that depend on your card. You can see the tail of my card in description. So on and this kind of resolution card texture on hide card number off. And this is the end of this kind of setting. We are now inside the NVIDIA control panel in Manage 3D setting. And I will read every setting I set up for iRacing. Image scaling of ambient occlusion off from there. An isotropic filtering application control. You see, we set up in the iRacing. Anti-aliasing FX uh, off, anti-aliasing gamma correction on, anti-aliasing mode application control, anti-aliasing setting is not highlighted but application control, anti-aliasing transparency of background application max frame rate of CUDA GPUs all, CUDA system fallback policy driver default, DSR factor off, DSL smoothness off, 
low latency mode on max frame rate off multi-frame sample AMF off OpenGL GDI compatibility auto OpenGL rendering CPU auto select power management mode prefer maximum performance shader cache size drive default texture filtering anisotropic sample off texture filtering negative lob bias allow texture filtering quality quality texture filtering three linear optimization on traded optimization on triple buffering of vertical sync fast virtual per rendered frames is important for virtual reality variable rate super sampling of vulcan open glide present method auto and this is all for the stub setting And now you can see some gameplay examples recorded directly from the VR headset mirror. Of course, the recording quality and post-video editing might not fully convey the experience, but I assure you that it's truly immersive and satisfying in VR. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It's very important to me, and you'd be supporting the channel without it costing you anything. This is what works for me. It might not work for you, but I hope it does. Additionally, if you have any valuable suggestions that can improve performance, please share them directly in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video, and until next time.